Sportsdvd.com. All right, we got Hollow the Dawn in the building. Finally. Yep, 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 yep. Um, Hollow, just had the battle with Surf. Mm -hmm. Let's just get right into it. Okay. How did you feel about the battle? I felt wonderful. I felt um, it was a it was a wild off, so it wasn't my best. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Because obviously your best is when you're in your zone and you're playing every day. Like you know what I mean, so it was a wild off. It took a minute, so you know I had to regroup. Had to get back, you know what I mean? That feeling back, second, third round, you seen it come back. Should you have not taken that long? Um, I mean, you took time off because you locked the fuck up. Yeah, I was yeah. locked up. <laughs> yeah, but it was also time I was trying to. Um, I mean, it wasn't no battles really though. Like the pe people wanted to see me versus Clips, uh, Lux, and them shits wasn't possible at the time. So I wasn't just gonna take anybody for the money. Well, why did you take so? Uh, Cause he's respectable, you know what I'm saying. And before him and conceded battle, he tried to call me out. Like okay. that's what people don't know. I never bothered with him. I wasn't even paying attention to him, honestly. So, out of your mouth, was the battle a win for you, or was it debatable? Nah, I think it's debatable. I okay. think it's debatable. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's, it's definitely a win because. I did what I had to do, expose them, put them on blast, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and let people see what I what I wanted them to see. Does that also, that's you know, that is debatable, raise surf stock? Though? Yeah, it does. It definitely does, because that's why it's also a loss, but like Ho said, even in defeat, you know what I mean? It's uh -huh. still a victory, you know what I'm saying, as long as you learn something and take from it, so. Did he shock you when he... Um, nah, the crowd shocked me, honestly. He you, didn't shock Well, you've never really been on that new URL stage, right? Summer Madness one, but you know when we got to like two, shit was it 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 expanded. I mean, because when we did Summer Madness one, it was Webster Hall, the same place as Summer Madness two. But it's, it's more just, fans you know, now. Though. It's just Diddy came. Let's yeah. be real. <laughs> <laughs> Diddy was there. That's yeah, the only yeah, difference. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. does does the does the surf battle does it mess up the you and Lux battle now, or should that still go on? Um. Lux want money, he don't give a fuck. Yeah. He don't care. You know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, if I was just horrible all around and it wouldn't be competitive, it'd be different, but Lux don't care. He want money. He How would you prepare different for Lux than you do this? Oh, way different. Way different. You know what I mean? Because um, Lux has that legendary status, you know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, you know, I made some mistakes with Sir at the same time because I should have prepared for him like he was legendary status, you know what I mean? But I didn't. But at the end of the day, you live and you learn. But it'll be a different preparation for Lux. Like for Lux, it's gonna be that lock in a dark room. You know what I'm saying? Work. You know what I mean? Like just, I'm telling you, it's gonna be a total. Do you different. kick your verses for people beforehand? I never did that. Honestly, I never did that. But as a recent, I say like my last two battles, I did that like maybe with two people. I only got two people I do that with. My boy Livio, and he's not even a battler. And Big T. You know what okay. I'm saying? Do you, is it any battle dude that you don't like personally? Personally? Nah, because I mean, I don't even invest that much energy. I don't even care. Because it be seeming like niggas that really don't like each other. Is that all bullshit? Nah, it's some, yeah, nah, it's some niggas that really don't like each other. But the thing about these niggas is you're not going to catch them by themselves. Yeah. So if you don't like them, you know what I'm saying, and you want to tell them, but you start thinking, oh, it's going to turn to all out, bro, my niggas, his niggas, going, you know what I'm saying? Because when you try to say something in front of somebody, in front of other people, that's when they got to act up. But if you catch a nigga one-on-one, -on -one, you see the real him. Like, yo, what you want? And, and your name is Hollow the Dawn. Yeah, oh, Dawn Lennon. And then we got John John the Dawn. I'm not excited. <laughs> what happened? Like, <laughs> I'm not excited. Did you, did you ever, like, say, yo, my nigga, like, what are you, what are you doing? On to the next one. On, <laughs> on to the next. Let me let me ask you something. Um, do you think a lot of the new battle rap dudes do they respect y'all the way they should? Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's some that do and it's some that don't. Cause it's, it seems like niggas get on camera, they start calling niggas. I was like, yo, my see, nigga, you're not even ready for that. I mean, that's how it goes. Once when niggas feel like they even close, like Surf. When I first met Surf, he was like, yo, you verse password is my favorite battle of all time. Yo, I watch this shit. Which is respect. I've done that when I seen Sirius Jones and people that I respected. Look, you know what I mean? So, but for him to get now that he feels he's on my level, for him to be like, you ain't got no balls. <laughs> Nigga, you ain't. That's just contradicting. You know what I mean? Like, that's corny to me. Who are you a fan of? Um, I don't know. I'm, as far as right now, like. like yeah, who, who, who uh, battle that yeah, comes out I, that you like? I'm watching um, that. 
like the new niggas. Yeah. Um, I like J C. Okay. J C. He put that shit together right. J C. Chilla Jones do too, but Chilla Jones, he ain't got no adobo. He's a little, you know what I mean? Like, we need a little more Sassoon. Like, he's a dry steak right now, but because he just does the schemes. He don't really have no flair, but he's dumb nice. No, All right. Definitely a fair. So we got Hollow the Dawn in the building. We about to leave from the studio, go outside and continue the interview because we intruding on the next right, people's cool. show. Yeah, yeah, so, yo, we be right back. Forbes, right. Let them know. We on Forbes. Oh, Forbes. And I was watching you. That's why I bought the camera. Why you watching me? I'm watching you. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up? This is Doggy Diamonds for ForbesDVD.com. I need everybody out there to subscribe to the new YouTube channel. The new channel is Forbes DVD Promo. F-O-R-B-E-Z DVD P-R-O-M-O. That's the new Forbes DVD YouTube. We still have this one, but we got a new one now too. So subscribe to that also. Good looking. Thank y'all for all y'all support. Forbes DVD Live every Wednesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. on DTFRadio.com. You want to go and you can't log on to DTFRadio.com? Just go to your mobile store and download the free tuning app. When you download that app, just search for DTF Radio and you can listen to the show like that. Why you want to go? You don't even have to be in front of a computer.